Hey, what's up guys? TBL here, coming back at you with some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay footage here. Playing a little bit with the uh, the VMP submachine gun here, aka the auto melt machine. The thing that uh, got nerfed, but it just keeps coming back. Although that ended with a big fat RIP to me. This man over here was sniping, but he knew to pay attention when his, uh, when his teammate went down. But what's up guys? How's it going? This is the end of the weekend, and oh man, have we had a weird couple of days on uh, Black Ops 3. Now, now, I'm not talking about any weird missing double EXP or Nuketown 24-7 shenanigans. I'm talking about the matchmaking. Yeah, that skill-based, aka scrub-based matchmaking that may or may not be in Black Ops 3. Oh man, so let's get into this. Uh, now, if you guys have been playing Black Ops 3 for the past couple of days, you'll know what's up here. But for those who don't, let's get you up to speed. Now, sometime over the past few days, after the uh, last update went into effect, Something changed with the matchmaking, and it was something pretty big. Out of nowhere, you know, everybody, even myself, I noticed it too, everybody was getting into super sweaty lobbies where everybody had a similar score per minute, similar KDR. It looked like skill-based matchmaking was back, and oh man, was the uh, Call of Duty internet sphere on fire. Reddit lit up, YouTube lit up, the COD forums lit up. We even had big name guys like Nadeshot and T. Martin calling it out saying, Hey, yo, it really feels like skill-based matchmaking kind of got a, a switch flipped. Like, almost as if out of nowhere, the A-dubs, the advanced warfare, ooh, get this man burnt up with that purifier, I am loving this specialist. But it was like out of nowhere, the A-dubs, the advanced warfare matchmaking was put into effect for Black Ops 3 and everyone was feeling it. Now, some of you out there who uh, may not be Call of Duty aficionados might wonder, well, what's wrong with skill-based matchmaking? Shouldn't you be matched up with people of a similar skill set? Kind of. And Black Ops 3 kind of has a weird sort of system with that in, where uh, it, what it'll do is there's no real skill-based matchmaking. It won't put you into lobbies filled with people who have a similar KDR and a similar score per minute. But when it gets into a lobby, it'll just match you up with people based on the best connection, and then from that lobby, it'll line up teams based on score per minute. And it'll try to set it up so that the lower skilled players are always on a team with the higher skilled players, sort of so that that higher skilled player can kind of backpack them. If you've got a really high score per minute, you've probably noticed that you're backpacking in a lot of the games you play in. Hence the term scrub-based matchmaking. Now, skill-based matchmaking is a bit different, and the reason why it's not such a good thing is because it literally turns every single game into a try-hard sweat fest. And let's be real, that's just not fun. It's one of my many problems with Advanced Warfare. It's really why I couldn't play that game longer than like a month and a half. Also, something else of note was that after this weird little server update went live, connections just went straight down the toilet. So we had bad connections and a sweat fest, which basically equals not a fun time. So when this change went into effect, the Call of Duty world sent out a signal. We had big name YouTubers like Team Art and of course Thunder calling it out, saying, oh man, everybody feels it. Feels like skill-based matchmaking was turned on. And uh, the fire was really lit under Treyarch for all of about a day and a half. But then, sort of out of nowhere, Treyarch announced that it was going to be rolling back the server update and taking us back to what the server status was at previously. <laughs> and all of the COD fans simultaneously let out a great cheer. So, matchmaking was rolled back, the servers went back to the way they were, and I'm back to backpacking teams, which I'm perfectly okay with when it comes to the choice between that and skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> I would much rather have to babysit some Christmas noobs than uh, get into sweatfest lobbies 24-7. We've had that before and it's not fun. Skill-based matchmaking should stay in the ranked modes where it belongs. So at the end of all this and earlier this morning actually, David Von Der Haar took to Twitter and tweeted out a couple of things. First off, while not really denying that skill-based matchmaking was sort of turned on, he stated that connection is always king in their uh, algorithms for matchmaking. But that they did do something, they did tweak the matchmaking and it came with some consequences that they didn't understand in totality. He stated that they also untweaked it the following day until they can investigate exactly what went wrong. <laughs> Seems like what went wrong is the community really doesn't like skill-based matchmaking. Finally, Von Der Haar rounded off by saying, What we didn't do is turn on or implement anything new that would deliberately prioritize any criteria over connection. And we won't. Which is kind of a nice, uh, it's kind of a nice fallback to say, hey, we prioritize connection over everything, but he's still technically not saying, no, we didn't turn on skill-based matchmaking. He's just trying to say that they didn't implement anything new, but we do know something changed over the past couple of days and that they did change it back. 
And that's pretty much the entire story, guys. So we wound up having about a day or so of skill-based matchmaking. It was super sweaty, and the connections were terrible. I mean, the stutter-stepping lag was all over the place. And then Treyarch immediately reversed it. So I will definitely give them props for that. Of the three uh, development houses for Call of Duty, Treyarch is easily the one with the best public relations for its uh, community. When this sort of thing was brought up with Sledgehammer Games and Advanced Warfare, oh man, Michael Condry just kind of laughed it off and said, deal with it. But when that outrage hit and the uh, COD community said, whoa, keep this skill-based matchmaking out of the regular pubs, Vonderhaar was quick to get to work. And uh, I'm definitely thankful for it. Again, I don't mind backpacking so much. It's not great, but I'd much rather backpack noobs all day long, all night long, all week long, than I would have to deal with sweaties every single game, never getting my streaks, never really having a good time. And most importantly, never getting a decent connection. Again, that was another big part of this. If you guys played at all on like Saturday, oh man, the connections were just all over the place. So this is a good change. I'm glad we're back to the way things were. Uh, even if my back is hurting me just a little bit. <laughs> but alright, that's my thoughts on this uh, entire skill-based matchmaking situation. What are yours? Be sure to let me know what you think about the crazy last couple of days in Call of Duty in the comment section below. And oh man, you know it's crazy when Team Martin is willing to call out shenanigans. But alright, that's it for this one guys. Thanks so much for watching. We did wind up going 23-10, and 10, so only a minor amount of backpacking this time. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.